You know, by the way, that storm has now started to loosen, lose its strength right now as it moves up the coastline. Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb joins us now with what we need to know heading into the weekend. Yeah, the center of the storm is now inland again, and it is quickly losing some strength. In fact, the latest that we got in at 5 o'clock from the hurricane centers, it's now classified as post-tropical, no longer a hurricane, but still max winds are around 70 miles an hour, just below hurricane strength. There's the center of the storm as it moved inland earlier, now pushing up through South Carolina and into North Carolina. And again, we always tell you don't focus just on that center of the storm because it really impacts a lot of people. You can see all this rain covering up South Carolina, North Carolina. We even have here as the center moves up toward the north, the right hand side of that a tornado watch in effect with some of these bands coming in. We can see some rotation with that for us here in Georgia. The back edge of that rain shield is in South Carolina, but every once in a while we get a little bit coming in through parts of East Georgia with a few of those clouds around our rain chance today really low. We had a couple of showers just a little bit earlier, and that was just a few raindrops here in the metro area. Stay with us. We're still dealing with that wind with the wind advisory that's in effect as the system moves up toward the north. Things will pull away. We're going to calm down more for the weekend. More on that outlook coming up.